Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about a product that I recently purchased. It is uh, by a company known as Idea Engineering. And it is a dovetail bracket for DSLR cameras. And there's a lot of different ways to go about mounting a camera and a lens to um, your telescope mount. What I was trying to avoid is offsetting a guide scope with this particular lens, this uh, Sigma 150 to 600, which is a relatively large telephoto lens, as you know. Um, rather heavy setup, but an awesome lens, really good. So to avoid balancing issues, I was thinking just come off the top here it must be a product and uh, that's where this came in I didn't see any reviews on it so I bought one I got time to use it and I will tell you what I think about it but essentially this is it you can see that it fits on the hot shoe of the camera like so and then you could attach a finder or a mini guide scope. In this case, I'll be showing the Orion mini uh, helical guide scope, which I really love. But uh, this one in particular, I'd say, is probably one of the larger of the minis that are on the market. And it stands kind of high, as you see. So it really probably puts the limit on this thing as far as the, the guidescape end of it goes but as far as the build goes it's all aluminum there's nothing plastic here so that that's a plus um, I'll just give you a really good look at it again and you can see this pretty much tightens up just like your any kind of uh, flash or, or whatnot you have for for camera you see how that does fits on there that way and included with it is your allen wrench that you're going to need and there is a hole here for a grub screw it actually tightens this center piece down and then there's a locking grub screw, screw that goes behind that to to secure it in place um, and it's also threaded on the back so that it could be fit to a tripod or that sort of thing. Yeah, that sticks out like a sore thumb. You see how that is. Uh, a smaller guide scope uh, on the market, one of the smaller minis that's set a little lower would be a little more stable. Um, but regardless of that, I've got this just about cranked down as far as I can do without putting a set of channel locks on it or something. And here's the problem. You see the play in that? And that is with the lock and grub screw in it. Additionally, where you would make your adjustment to tighten it is right here so in other words once you have this on there you have blocked your access to where you would lock it at so that's a fault of this system i'm not putting a lot of force on that and that is too much play to be you know uh dealing with with guiding system now if you're fumbling around in the dark, you reach up here to touch your camera for any reason. Um, that's all it takes. You just can't crank it down enough to make it secure enough to make your fine adjustments here and to use it for guiding. So let's examine the, the flaw in this design. Okay, you see, I've got it apart now. There is a flat side to that 
and that is where your your grub screw makes contact to lock this in position it would have been a whole lot better if this was made uh, as one piece there's no reason that you couldn't have this base right here as a permanent part and as a matter of fact I'll keep this and I will make use of it but I'm going to tack weld it here and then smooth it out because this um, the bottom part of this will lock onto the camera hot shoe just like a flash or anything else and that's independent of it being separate from this this is a weak this is the weak link here when this is separate from this the astrophotographer Jeff Lucas is also a good friend of mine uh, he recommended I take this and to do the side-by-side uh, -side setup Orion makes a product that's basically two uh, dovetails connected off of a center one so you can balance across this way so back to the drawing board on that speaking of Jeff he's got some really cool apparel I'll put a link in the description and uh, you can also go to his channel and and you can see the links there um, I would like uh, idea engineering to come out with one of these where this was one piece and you could just tighten it that way because you don't need to be able to adjust this side to side it doesn't need any slot there at all um, when you're aligning your finder scope or guide scope with your main optics I mean you you dial that in here so um, you don't need this moving around after the fact so if you're buying this with the intentions on using it for a guiding system don't this is one of those products that goes in the bag and probably stays there unfortunately and for the price um, should have went with Jeff I hope this was helpful to somebody like I said I didn't see any reviews on it and um, there's definitely people out there looking for ways to do this and for me this is not it sorry for the bad news uh, thanks for watching and I hope it answered some of your questions as always clear skies